Good afternoon everybody, it's Brett here, Lionheart84. Um, when I'm looking on persimmon forums on uh, places like Facebook, one of the questions I see crop up most often is someone posts a picture of a sad looking stick of a newly planted persimmon, persimmon and said it and they normally say it's like well into it's the end of May or into June and my persimmon hasn't leafed out yet is it dead um, it is a very common problem with persimmons on newly planted ones in particular it's nearly always on newly planted trees that they have these issues. I mean, it, obviously, if they live in a very cold area, it could be after a very cold winter. But it's quite common because when you buy a persimmon dormant in a container or as a bare root plant, they're one of those trees for some physiological reason or botanical reason really suffer badly when you re-pop them. It sets the roots back and without any activity in the roots for some reason the plants are extremely late to leaf out. It's completely, it's not unheard of for them to be the end of June or even the uh, even into July before they leaf out. Now this is a case in point here I can show you. I've got, oh, it's windy today, all this snapping. I've got two um, two persimmons side by side here and the reason they're a good comparison is they are both actually uh, hybrid persimmons they're both American Asian crosses the one on the left here is labelled Russian red I can't remember if that's, uh, if that's a synonym for another variety and the one on the right here is Mount Govala or Gora Govala now I got this Mount Govala in winter of 2019 oh someone's got his drill out next door it's brilliant <laughs> just when i'm making a video that's about right now when i got this plant i cut the stem was about four feet long and if you have a look here you can see i cut the stem back to about two feet now i remember last summer this plant didn't leaf out until early june and then the course of the year it put on two growth spurts it grew about eight inches in the first burst of growth and then it suddenly shot up about another two feet in its second burst of growth now and that all happened in one season now this one here i got this winter in about january from the same supplier and cut the stem back as you can see now if you notice we've had an extremely warm May and to give you some idea of how warm it's been and how early persimmons have been this one here this Mount Govala has actually already grown a foot in the whole month of May which is unheard of but hopefully you can still hear me over the noise of the power drill and it's branched out absolutely everywhere it looks looks really amazing I'm very happy with it and this one here you can have a look literally after a very very warm month it's just starting to bud out in two maybe three places if the one at the top is going to grow and i'm not convinced it is it looks a bit dry the bud but this is basically a hybrid the same as the one next to it so i think the simple answer is if your persimmon has been planted in the previous in in that winter either as a bare root plant or you've grown it as a small container plant and you've either repotted it or put it in the ground I wouldn't worry yet you can always give the bark a little scratch if you get a stem that you're not sure about and you just get your nail and just give it a little scratch I don't know if I can do it or not with this my nail's not very sharp let me see if you give it what they call the scratch test you will see I can't focus in on it, of course, because there's stuff behind it. It's typical. Put my hand there, see if that works. Not to worry, anyway. If you uh, scratch with your uh, fingernail a little bit of the bark away, if it's green underneath, there's a very good chance of persimmons alive and still trying to get the roots going, because what happens is the roots just don't absorb moisture and nutrients and nutrients they need to feed the stem so if you bear in mind this one here and it's grown a foot already looked exactly like this bare stick did at the same time last year 
don't panic yet. There's a very good chance your persimmon will make a comeback. I've even heard of them staying dormant all summer and all winter and growing next year. I would say that's a rarity, but I have heard of it happening. So uh, just persevere, wait, 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 and hope that something comes of your plant. Um, just give it the water it needs. Don't have to over water it, obviously, because it's not growing, so it's not using much water. You don't want it drowning. Um, just be patient and hope that it makes a uh, comeback and obviously I will feature this plant later in the summer to see if it's started into growth. So that's answering people who tend to who ask is my persimmon dead? The answer is it might not be so just be patient and keep your fingers crossed. Not worth get, getting rid of a plant unless you're 100% sure. Thank you very much for watching. Welcome to like the video. By all means share it if you wish to. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if I'm doing anything that interests you and if you remember to hit the bell and select all notifications you will be told about future videos that I post including updates on the persimmons throughout the summer. Catch up with you all in the next video. Brett out for now.